So once we've created our document in Microsoft Word, we're ready to save it. Now, a couple things. First of all, since I haven't saved it yet, I could come up here and just choose the disk in the upper right hand corner, choose save or do control S to save. And if you notice by default, I have mine set that it's going to default and save in my college's OneDrive folder. Now, if this is not where I want to save it, from here, I can go to more options and that opens up the default save as because this is the first time I'm saving the document. If I've already saved the document, then hitting control S or save or the disk at the top on the home page is going to save the document again to the file that I've directed. Now from here, what I want to show you is how I normally save a document. I don't tend to pick the defaults. I say to this PC and I say more options. Okay. Now, if you notice, it's taking the default document name from the first line or sentence or words within the document. Okay. So I could change this if I want to, I will say sample word doc, for example, and then let's look at where I can save it. So if you notice, I could save it out on my desktop. I could save it in documents. I could even save it in downloads. I could save it to one of my multiple uh, OneDrive folders. If I had the connector for Google Drive, I could save it there. I can save it out to external media, wherever. The biggest thing is remember where you save the document. Many of my students say, I did the homework, I hit save, I can't find the document. Well, one of the things you could do is come into the recent, reopen Microsoft Word. And if you have your recent documents on, you can click it there. Because that way, if you don't know where it is, it'll at least open the document. You can resave it to a place you can find it. Most importantly, though, I think to mention in this short video is what we can save it as. So if you notice here, I can save it as a default document. I can save it as a macro, as a, the an old version, so that it opens in the old versions of Word 97 through 2003. I can save it as a template which means when someone opens it up, they're going to be forced to save a copy because they're opening up a template that they would fill things out in. And I don't want them to override our template. Okay. Uh, a macro enabled template, notice 95 template PDF is something you should consider printable document format. So if we were doing, for example, a resume, we would definitely want to save it as a PDF so that we could send it. Some folks may not have Microsoft Word, but they can always open a PDF. We can also do things like secure it so that it can't be changed, etc. Notice I can save it as an XPS document, which is Microsoft's uh, version of printable document format. I can save it as a a, a single web page, a, a web page filtered, plain text. You can see there's a lot of different ways that I can save a document besides just the dot .docx. So notice here, I'm going to save it as a Word file. That's going to append the dot .docx behind it and we're done. Hope you have a great day. Take care.